Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 15, and today we gotta check out some new players, man. New positional heroes are out, as well as new all rookies. Let's go check them out. Now, first up, we got Joe Thomas, 99 overall. He is the left tackle positional hero. Check out the stats 98 strength, 100 pass block, 96 run block, 95 impact block, and 90 acceleration. Thomas has been a top five tackle every year since he entered the NFL. In 2014, he allowed only two sacks and over 1,000 snaps. Now, Thomas, he's a stub, and I can't argue him getting this card. As a Cowboys fan, I would have preferred to see Tyron Smith, but Joe Thomas, this guy is easily a future Hall of Famer. Crazy good, crazy efficient at what he does. So I honestly can't knock this Joe Thomas card. And right now, thinking about buying this car simply because I could probably buy it and maybe even resell it, but that's a little too risky for me. So I'm going to leave this bad boy on the block and hopefully somebody else can get it and put him to use. Now, the other position of card that came out today was cornerback. And I really, I'm really not a fan of this choice. I'm really not. From a mud standpoint, Patrick Peterson is cool, but I thought, I thought these heroes are for people that play the best at their position. And Patrick Peterson easily wasn't the best cornerback this year, but check the stats out. 99 overall, 6'1", 98 speed, 99 man, 96 zone, 97 agility, and 95 press. Peterson tied for third among NFL quarterbacks with three interceptions and allowed a low 54% completion percentage in his zone. Now, also, one thing about this Patrick Peterson is compared to the 98 Deion Sanders, he really isn't that much better. Press went up one point. Acceleration went up one point and speed went up one point and lo and behold he is one inch taller But in reality Dion is actually six foot one I don't know why he's six foot in this game But if you go on the NFL site Dion is actually six foot one I wish they fixed that in the game But I guess for right now we're gonna rack up with the six foot Dion centers But in reality when he was playing Dion was definitely six foot one But once again compared to Dion Patrick Peterson isn't that much better and he goes for twice as much as Dion so Honestly, this Pat P card is cool, but it's nothing game-breaking. It's nothing too mind-blowing. It's nothing new, in my opinion, because once again, Dion's stats are pretty much identical, and Dion's awareness is better. Dion's catching is also better at a 90 compared to Pat Pete's 85. So just things to keep in mind if you're thinking about upgrading that cornerback position and you're thinking about getting this Pat Pete, DM would be a great option if you can't afford Pat Pete or don't want to spend all your coins on a Patrick Peterson. Now, next up, we got the All Rookies. New All Rookies were released on Sunday. Let's check these bad boys out. First up, Khalil Mack. Man, I was honestly thinking about going back and picking up his team in a week for like, what, 70K? But we got a new Khalil Mack, 96 overall. This is perfect. I needed a new right outside linebacker. We got a new right outside linebacker in Khalil Mack. Check his stats out. 6'2", 94 speed, 95 block shed, 99 pursuit, 93 tackle, 85 play rank, and 87 zone. Mack led all rookies with 51 total QB pressures. He also only allowed four catches in his zone all season check the hit power see if he's packing a punch as well as the catch okay catch rating is a 70 check the hit power i'm guessing 97 hit power 97 hp no <laughs> 97 power move and where's the hit power all right 98 power move ready at 98 hit freaking power Khalil Mack looking looking pretty good man pretty stout only going for 170k too so oh 160k right here this might this might be a snipe man 96 overall outside linebacker for 160k this is still man Definitely, if you're in the market, pick up these Khalil Max. I don't know why they're going for this low, to be honest. In comparison, I think 96 overall Levante David goes for like 400k. Now, that card, it's a limited edition, but same overalls. One going for twice as much as the other. Makes no sense to me. Next up, we got Semi Watkins. Had a pretty solid rookie campaign. 94 overall, 6 1. 96 speed, 95 catch, 93 beliefs, 95 elusiveness, 88 route running, and 95 catch in traffic. Watkins. Finished with 65 receptions for 982 yards and six touchdowns in his rookie season. Next up, you got Corey Lindsley. Already heard some pretty good things about this card. 92 overall center, 6'3", 94 run block, 92 pass block, and 96 impact blocking. Very balanced. Only going for about 20, 25K right now. Once again, man, if you're building the trenches, check out these all rookie and those final edition players, man. They're great if you're on a budget. Lindsay allowed only one second over 1,000 regular season snaps. So once again, he had a great... A great rookie campaign too and 94 round block is solid pairing that with 96 impact block is pretty freaking good now lastly Deion Buchanan another safety last week I believe we got Telvin Pryor he was a great safety packing and punch we got another great safety packing another punch 97 hit power 95 speed 61 84 zone 60 oh brutal brutal coverage stats but 84 zone isn't too bad 87 tackle and 95 excel Buchanan Finished second in tackles among rookie defensive backs with 81. Check out the catch rating really quickly. Okay, 70. Man, very balanced card. His coverage just isn't that great, man. Man coverage, I'm not worried about that because you're not going to play man with your safety too many times, but the zone, the zone could definitely be better. But even if he gets beat, if you got a solid user, you can switch on to this guy, put that 95 speed, 95 excel to work, and get back into play. So 
Dion Buchanan looking looking pretty good. There you have it though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And quickly, once again, man, Dion, Pat Pete, identical cards. Like, honestly, it makes no sense to get that Pat Pete. Just get Dion. I mean, Dion should honestly be 6 1, and the stats are pretty much damn near identical, you know? And where it matters, coverage, Dion, I guess, is beating him. He has better hands. He's only one less press. You know, he's, he's a smidge slower at 97 speed, 98 except, but guys, trust me, Pat Pete, Pat Pete isn't worth twice the price of Dion. He just isn't. So in my opinion, if you guys are looking to upgrade, please spend your coins wisely. Get that prime time. Get that Neon Dion and get some picks with a man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.